Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in Nashville today in the beautiful Nashville studios. And we're going to talk about red dot optics, which is really one of the hottest topics in the gun business. And you know, we are milling slides right here in Nashville in our machine shop, uh, you know, probably 30 yards away over there that uh, uh, we are doing them in 10 days or less. So that's a, a big part of our business and uh, we've never missed a 10 day window. We've done over 1500 slides as I sit here right now. And by the time you watch this, maybe another 500, maybe 2000 slides. But um, we're cutting slides for the red dot optics. This is a typical red dot optic. We're cutting them so they sit nice and low with the bore of the gun. Uh, the lower they sit, the more pointable the gun is. That's just how it works. Uh, but once you go with a red dot, it's very difficult to go back because it's so much faster. All the top competition shooters in the world use red dot optics because of that. Now this one's set up, it's a Trigicon, it's set up with the, uh, uh, the suppressor height sights so you can actually co-witness and look through the window and see the sights and the red dot at the same time, which is a really great feature. So if the red dot ever fails, hey, you've got some backup sights. But the other side of that is that you can dial this thing into where uh, when you present the gun, the red dot sits right on top of that front post. And then you know for sure that, hey, it's it's lined up, it's going to go where, where I want it to go. So it's kind of a, a double check system and it's, uh, it's really cool. And uh, we sell a ton of red dot optics and we cut a lot of red dot optics. If you want a red dot optic for your gun and you want us to cut your slide and actually mount it, send it to us 10 days or less, we're gonna send it back to you. That's a guarantee, okay? Or it's free, that's how it works. And we haven't lost one yet. Uh, but today I wanna to show you something different, unique unusual uh, because it's a different style red dot and you don't have to mill your slide. You can actually install this yourself and I'm going to show you how to do it here in just a second, but uh, it's from Leopold and they've kind of rethought the red dot concept and they developed this little guy and, and it's really small. Okay. Which is, you know, compared to this window, it's a small window. Now what they have done here is they've moved the battery pack out here to the back. So I'll show you how it goes on in just a second. And they have now given us a dovetail mounting system. So you can mount it on your existing slide on just remove the rear sight and use this as a replacement. And I play with it a little bit and I will tell you this, that uh, I think it's a great training tool because this window is so small. If you don't present the gun properly and have it in front of your face properly, and see that hole and see the, the red dot inside that hole, that inside that window, uh, you're not presenting the gun properly. It'll tell you right away. So it, uh, I think from a training standpoint, it's wonderful. Now, uh, you know, as far as practicality, how long it's gonna last and all that, you know, this is a brand new item, so we don't know. But let's go ahead and, uh, and do the installation. I'll show you what it looks like. One of the things that is advantageous to this is that it sits very low to the bore, again, making it much more pointable. The disadvantage is that window is so small, sometimes it's hard to see, but that's a mistake that has to be corrected. You should be able to present that gun every time and see the window and see the red dot. All right, so that's the concept and here we go. So the first objective is I've got a Glock 17 Gen 3 gun here. It's gonna work on any of the guns, any of the Glocks with a dovetail which is basically all of them. <laughs> so first thing is to make sure it's unloaded. I've got a magazine out. I'm going to go ahead and look inside. It is unloaded. Pull the trigger in a safe direction. Now let's go ahead and wrap my hand up around the top, pull back on the slide just a little bit to disengage the slide, the spring action of the slide from the slide lock, which is the takedown lever and take uh, my thumb and my forefinger and pull down on both sides and hold it down. And as I hold it down, I can let the slide go and walk the slide off, making sure to hold onto the slide so it doesn't fall down and bang itself and dent that little nose ring is what we call that. So there's the upper and we're going to work with this and there's the lower and that's the frame. I'm going to put this to the side and what we're going to do now is uh, incorporate our sight pusher. Now there's a million ways to take these rear sights off. They're just press fit. If you want to keep it, and use it again, the sight pusher is the way to go because it doesn't damage the sight. I could put this down here on my little armorer's donut and uh, 
tap it off with a punch. And I've done that a bunch of times. And typically what happens is you, uh, you damage or mar or uh, disfigure the one side of it because the punch is steel and that's plastic and you're punching it off and uh, it doesn't look good. And sometimes you just you know, don't want to put it back on. I mean, you probably could, but it's kind of crinkled sometimes. And it's like, oh, is it really going to be accurate? something to ask yourself. So the side pushers are really cool because they allow you to control uh, the motion. Now this one is fantastic. We sell a ton of these. This is probably the most amazing tool for the price. Uh, it's, it's set up right now to, uh, uh, to, to accept a Glock. I've kind of preset it so I don't have to do it. But what you'll see is there's adjustments for up and down as far as the height of the slide, depending upon which slide you have. These actually lock it in there. You'll notice there's a little Delrin inserts that protect the steel on steel contact so you're not going to scratch your slide so basically what you do is you get it kind of preset and you go ahead and take your slide and you just drop it right into there and push it in and kind of hold it nice and neat and one of the main things you want to make sure is that you have clearance with this pusher as it pushes across it doesn't scrape the slide so i kind of like i said i already preset that so now that i've got it there i'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down now, I just want to make sure it's level, and it is. And like I said, I pre-adjusted this for a Glock. And if we can look in there, you're going to see, I'll put my hand back there. You can see that it's going to go ahead, and, and the concept, what it's going to do is I'm going to crank on this lever right here, and it's just going to walk itself across and just gently walk this, the, uh, the rear sight out. I mean, it's really gentle, too. It is a gentle motion versus kind of tapping on it with a hammer. So now, let's go ahead, and I'm going to come. Uh, let's see. I can go either way. I think I'll come this way. See if that'll work. And here we go. Okay. It's coming. And now it's about three-quarters of the way off. I can probably pull it by hand right now. Let's see here. Can you see that? Like I said, I could probably walk that off with uh, my hand, but I'll just keep on pushing it here to the edge. And it's basically off right now. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and loosen it up a little bit and pull it out. And that's what I have. See how cool that is? I mean, just it's that simple and I can still use this site, so I'll put it in a bag and I'll save it for next time. Here it is right here. You can see that I did not disfigure the, uh, the either side. It's nice and pretty. When you tap them off with a hammer, they tend to get ugly. But the site pusher saves them. And, you know, it actually makes it a lot easier to put sites back on as well. So you don't have to sit there and tap on them. Uh, although uh, uh, with a with a nylon mallet, you can kind of tap them on sometimes. Uh, they do say that the night sights with the glass vials, with the tritium inside the glass vial, that actually glow at nighttime, that you want to be careful not to be pounding on them too much because you could damage the vial and it could leak or whatever. Well, I've never seen that happen, but uh, it's, it's feasible that it could. I, I assume that the action of the gun alone is, is more than me beating on it with a hammer. However, uh, you know, it does make sense that you want to be gentle with those somewhat uh, in the installation. So here's my rear sight, factory rear sight. Now, what we're going to do is reach into the bag that comes with this, um, uh, this uh, red dot optic from Leopold. And by the way, it is called the uh, Delta Point Micro because it is small. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to reach in here and grab what they have as their uh, dovetail mounting system. Doesn't say Glock on, the, on either side of it. And now this one, I'm going to actually tap in uh, with my hammer. Well, I don't need to. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and, and kind of center it up. Uh, you can adjust it a little bit later, you know, because it will move around on you. Now what we're going to do is get your optic and marry it to the slide itself and get my holes lined up. And now take the Torx wrench. And if you were to do this and want to keep it there, you more than likely want to put a little bit of uh, Loctite uh, on here. So let's see if I can get this started. All right. I think I'm in there. 
I'm not going to tighten it down too much. I'm just going to get it started on the one side, started on the next. And these screws may have a little bit of blue Loctite on them. Oops, get back there. Here we go. So I'm not going to crank it down too much here because I'm going to just take it right off. All right. So there it is. Now, people always wonder, well, how do you center it up? Well, you know, it's really by eye. You know, you want to look down on the top of it and you want to say, well, do I have the same amount of space here as I do there? I can push it over just a little bit, I think. Um, you know, a lot of that depends on where the light's coming from, too. So be very aware of that. Sometimes it's an optical illusion. Uh, but if I push it over and I can feel it, too, does it feel the same on both sides? That's why it's still a little bit loose. I can still push it in there. I may want to loosen up just a little bit more just to be able to give it a little bit of centering with my fingers and then tighten it down a little bit more now. Okay. So now you can see the objective as it's mounted. It's super low to the bore compared to the uh, traditional uh, red dot optic. And that's a, definitely a plus. The drawback is that that darn window <laughs> is tiny. But again, it's a kind of a learning curve for you, a, a training curve for you in the sense that it, uh, if you are not able to see through that window as you present the gun and see that front sight, you're presenting the gun wrong. Okay, and this really starting to tighten up your presentation, tighten up your presentation. So. To access the battery panel, uh, you'll notice it's underneath here. And one of the things you'll notice as well that they have uh, given us direction on which way the battery goes, which is always good. Uh, on the cap here, it has a negative, which means the negative goes towards the cap. Positive down, if I'm holding the slide upside down. Up, if I'm holding it that way. <laughs> it's a little confusing, but the positive, you can see, would actually uh, intersect with that. Uh, the battery it uses is a uh, CR1632. Now. Easy mistake is to put the battery in, put the cap on, and then try to mount it onto the frame. It's not going to fit. That's kind of one of the drawbacks. Uh, the other drawback I see is it's covering the slide cover plate. So every time I want to get inside here to do anything, I've got to take the slide off. Yeah, not a huge inconvenience, but uh, how often do you get in there? Uh, depends who you are, you know. So uh, don't put the uh, cap or the battery in yet. Let's go ahead and mount it on the gun, the slide on the gun, because uh, you can see how that may interfere and certainly would and then now we're going to go ahead and take our battery with our negative up or a positive down towards the contacts and these screws uh, this threading on this uh, cap is super fine so you got to be very patient not to force it if it binds up back it out and start again moments later Oops, still messing around with it. More moments later. Yeah, there you go. Well, I'm sure that it's not that hard, but I made it look difficult. <laughs> okay, so I've screwed it down all the way. The on-off button is actually the cap itself. Just tap it once, and it goes on. Tap and hold it, I guess, is what they're going to do. And now we're going to tap it a couple more times to make it brighter. And there it is. So now, like I said, what's really interesting about this is as you present the gun, if you're not seeing that dot, you're off where you want to be. And there is some windage and elevation here. So it's important that you really dial this thing in for the distance that you're looking for, because what you ideally want to do is put that dot right on top of your front sight. And that training alone, just being able to bring up and see that dot is going to be super important for you. And even seeing the front sight, because now you know that, hey, I am, I'm putting the gun exactly where I want it to be. So I'm, I'm impressed with uh, uh, that aspect of it. Uh, I, as far as shooting it on a regular basis, boy, you know, a lot of times when we do speed shooting, you know, we're not really looking at the sights that much. We're kind of just, you know, we're putting a big window in front of our face. So, uh, with the larger window may be a little easier. This is going to be more precise because it's tiny. Uh, and if you don't see that red dot in that 
little circle of glass there, you're not presenting the gun properly. So uh, there's a good training side of this thing that I think is, is important. Uh, it is a low profile site. It's not going to interfere with any holsters at all. You can see that. Um, of course, law enforcement, you know, who have a strap over top of this may have some difficulty. Uh, but uh, like I said, it's just another option for red dot optics. So red dot optics are hot. If you've got a red dot optic and you want to mount it on your gun, we can do that for you. If you want to do it yourself with this uh, dovetail mounting system, uh, this is an option. We've got a couple other options for dovetail mounting systems, but they typically don't mount the sight as low as you really would like it to be. Sometimes it's higher than it should be, and, and it just makes it less pointable. This one is very pointable because it's so darn low to the board, probably more so than this. But, you know, really, it's an option for you. Uh, this is not a super expensive item as far as red dots go overall. I think it's right in the mid price there. But uh, bottom line is it's, uh, it's a new one. It's from Leopold. We know it's good. So if you're looking for options, we've got a lot of red dot options on our website. And red dots really are uh, the future of shooting because they are that much faster and that much more accurate, which will make you a safer shooter. Because if you can hit your target, you're more accurate, you're safer. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in Nashville. If you're ever in Middle Tennessee, make a beeline to this store because you're going to really enjoy what we've got going on out there. We've got some great people. The store is fantastic. We've got some great shooting ranges. It's a fun experience. Hope to see you here someday soon. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.